Hello, my name is Pixelated Twigs, and welcome to Boundless. Okay, so I met someone yesterday. That person is new to the game by like a day or so. Yesterday, um, I shouldn't say yesterday. It was yesterday that they um, joined the game. I met them today. Today being Sunday, yesterday being Saturday. Are we there yet, guys? I don't know. So I met this person. They actually moved into the Purple Rain settlement. So me being the nosy person that I am, along with Alex Cristo, who is so kind, he's building a welcoming a welcome center um, for new people um, because some people have been watching our stream and my videos and coming to the game, which is really cool. I'm so glad that people are starting to discover this game. Anywho, um, we went over there to say hello and found out that Shua. Hello, Shua, is new to the game and really didn't know all the ropes. They have a lot of questions, one of which was like the basics of how to navigate the mall. Now, Shua met DK. If you're familiar with Boundless, if you play Boundless, you know who DK is. If not, DK owns this fabulously huge mall and it's expanding. Um in uh, Tana, Tana, where I reside with Cosmic Mermaid and Melly Mel, AKA Melanin Sims 2000. All right, so let me get out of first person here. Um, I know how to navigate this game, you guys. Um, oh, by the way, this is the store. This is the Purple Rain store. I'll come back and show you guys what this is. Anyways, I decided that I wanted to do a quick tutorial, maybe not a quick tutorial, but a tutorial nonetheless on the basics of how the mall works and also Shana Shua Shua Shana Shua Shua you guys no I don't know whatever uh, I'm so sorry for messing up your name but uh, Shua yes we got it also did not really know how to use portals very well so I'm going to give my basic and I mean when I say basic I mean basic information on tutorials on tutorials on how to use portals so first things first the mall the mall is where um the citizens of um each planet hub sell goods and services mostly good well no well, some services i would think but i've seen services being sold but mostly goods crafted farmed whatever and you see these stores here, and you've probably seen um, Melanin Sims, Cosmic and I running around these places um, in utter awe, especially at the beginning of our journey into Boundless. But even now, we still get caught up in the mall because there's just so many goodies to be uh, purchased and just the stores in general. Um, everyone's so talented and creative making their storefronts. Me, not so much. I had a little help, but we'll go in there to that little detail later uh, because I do, you, you know, you see that we have this store here called Purple Rain. Mm -hmm. All right, so basics. First things first, when you walk into the mall, it can be very overwhelming. You're not really sure um, where to go first, how to find things. And it took me a minute to even figure that out because when I first started playing the game um, and when I was off by my lonesome, I was running around the malls just looking. I had a thing on my mind that I wanted to purchase and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to run through every one of these stores to find what I need. And that's just not the way to go. Let me save you some time. The first thing you need to do when you walk into the mall, take a gander, look around, you know, figure out uh, where you're at. Just remember that <laughs> where you're at, because if you want to go back to the beginning of the mall and you don't want to just port back. Definitely write down the coordinates or and look at the coordinates um, to see where you're at. And if you're starting the game, you might not even know where that is. So you want to hit tab to bring up your character menu and then go to places. Okay. Places um, will tell you exactly where you're at um, and you would get go to locations. The locations, this will tell you your exact coordinates. So if you want to write that down so you know that, okay, I need to get back to this uh, location in order for me to uh, enter the portal that I came or go back through the portal that I came through or you can just you know um, head back to your own sanctum okay or go through the sanctum and head back to your own um, base either way so you've you've got your bearings you figured out okay this is where I'm at I'm looking for a specific item whatever that might be if it's another sling bow if it's some ore 
whatever. You can find it usually at the mall. And every mall um, carries, uh, or every, I would say, planet, maybe? Maybe not every planet, but a lot of the hubs have malls. Some are bigger than others. Um, never mind. <laughs> but um, yes, so but a lot of them, the larger ones obviously offer the most um, options. Um, but the smaller ones also have things that maybe you won't find in the larger malls. There are things that I haven't found in the larger malls that I've seen in like smaller little um, niche areas carry those items. Either way, anyway, let's just do this and stop going on a tangent. All right, so I'm going to say bring up, hmm, let's say it's something simple, something that you would probably want to the beginning of your journey. Maybe you want a better hammer. So let's type in hammer. Okay, first, let me show you what I did. I hit K. K brings up knowledge, the knowledge tab. And with the knowledge tab, you can either, you find recipes and recipes and resources and tips. Tips are all the tips in the game, like how you you deal with um, your Q&A, pretty much, I would think. Like, what's a beacon control? How to activate a beacon? Why am I hungry all the time? Those things. And then you have your recipes and resources. Those The recipes and resources are how where you find items, how to make those items, what ingredients goes to into making that item, like the wood hammer. That's a very basic tool, a version of the tool, um, basic version of a tool that you will be using quite often in the game. Um, and it tells you exactly what you need, how much you need to make that. It also has two other tabs, or there's three tabs: details, buy from, and sell to. Okay, this is where the knowledge tab is like it it shines. You get into a mall, okay, and you don't know where to find the item that you're looking for. So you wanna go to K, recipes and resources, and then you can type in the little search uh, box here, type in hammer, and it brings up all the different hammers in the game. So you can scroll down. Now, this um, is not my crafting character. This is just my, uh, Mining, exploration, that kind of thing. She can she can make weapons, but um, you can filter by what you're able to craft on your particular um, tune, or you can take that filter off completely by clicking here, and you'll have more options. Uh, because if you just filter by what you're able to craft, you'll only see exactly that, what you're able to craft on that tune. But if you take that filter off completely, it'll open up everything that's available in um, the mall or uh, available in the recipes and resources. Um, okay, so we're looking for, oh, what is this? Okay, never mind. that's a guild buff. I don't know anything about that yet, so we're not gonna worry about that. But you can see that these are all the hammers that are available in the game, all of them, okay? So now, if there's a specific hammer that you'd like, say you want something cool, okay? But, you know, these are the cooler hammers, of course. But at the beginning of the game, you're probably not going to be able to afford that. So um, maybe the next step up for you will be, I would say, let's just say an iron hammer, okay? So we're gonna click on iron hammer. It'll tell you how to make that if you have the, um, if you have the, um, the ingredients to do so. But it will also tell you, click on the buy from, where to purchase that hammer. So we've got, all these stores here that offer iron hammers. And it also shows the prices and the amount of hammers that they have in stock. So how do we use this? Easy peasy. You click on the store that you wanna to go to. This one is the closest one, RBI, the Silk Road Legendville. Um, I pretty much go by a couple things price and proximity because some of them of course this one is like 2836 meters away i'm not going to go that far um that that might be on a completely different planet or just way across the planet i just don't feel like walking that far running that far so more than likely i'm going to try to stay in the mall area and these um first four are going to be in the mall so i'm going to go with let's just say the RBI Silk um, Road. So you just click on it. 
Uh, let me see if I can get it to do it. Okay, there we go. We'll just, we'll do this. We'll click on DK short circuit because for some reason, RBI didn't show up. But you'll see here, up here um, in your, um, on your UI, I'm gonna hit escape. You'll see now up at the top, let me go back here and I'll circle it. You'll see like an orange um, box with an arrow pointing down. That is your compass. Okay, well, this is your compass bar up top and that is like the indicator on your compass which direction you need to head to get to that store um well here we go so we're running behind this person here that's dk by the way uh no that's not that was ezekiel i've seen ezekiel running around dk's mall anyway so you can see that um as we run closer or we get closer to our location the box gets larger so we know we're headed in the right direction now sometimes of course the arrow will you know hit point um, left or right, just to let you know that, oh, you're going to have to make a right turn here. This is our uh, series. So we're going to run through, you know what, let me use this because I have fallen through this mall before. And let me tell you, I, I, whew, I thought I was going to lose my life. I almost did, but I, thankfully there's a nice big body of water underneath this mall. Okay. So this is a store in it. There's short circuit. This is where we said that the hammer was going to be at. This is short circuit. Um, so this is where the hammer is. You can see the, the orange indicator. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see me do it. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna run in here and okay. Um, let's try using the uh, way to get in and not going, trying to go for, well, this is just oh, intricate. Okay, we can just run over this way. Very cool, actually. I see what they were trying to do here. I like it. Okay, so here's the hammer right here, and the indicator will disappear once you get right up on the item. And here's the hammer. Now, in order for you to purchase a hammer, you want to um, point your little indicator right at this, um, oh, I forget what these are called, but you want to point it right at the, the stand, the shop stand, that's what it is. Click E, or, and uh, there's your hammers. You'll see the hammers here, right click, and you can uh, purchase all four of these, um, or you can purchase all four of them. You could just drag it like that and purchase all four, or you can click right click and just purchase one and just drag it like that. And then you make this purchase and there should be another um, bar or another box that comes up just to basically like confirm that that's the item that you want to purchase in Bob's your apple, Bob's your apple. Bob's your apple, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much all that, you know, all that is about sh with shopping. I mean, it's a fairly simple. Um, like I said before, I was running around trying to find things and it was a hassle. I got so frustrated trying to find something. I really just kind of hated going to the mall at that point. I didn't hate going oh. to the mall, but, uh, oh, there's Eulogy. I just met Eulogy I today. Uh, Eulogy is also new to the game and he opened up a store right behind me. So, um, I, you know what, while we're here, I guess I can show you Purple Rain Mall, Purple Rain Mall, Purple Rain. Um, hmm, you know what, I'll follow Eulogy because, um, Eulogy probably knows where his store is. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, yeah, no, maybe Eulogy doesn't. I don't know. Maybe we're it's the blind leading the blind. It could be. Because um, you can see that I can go in around in circles. Uh, so, yes, I just opened up a store for Purple Rain Settlement. And um, am I coming up on it? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, this looks like this might be. Did I pass it? No, I didn't. Um, let me see if I can find it. I really want to be able to find this store without... This looks familiar. Hmm. Okay. This might be it. Wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Where are we at? Okay. That looks familiar. This definitely looks familiar. Okay. Yes. I know where we're at. Okay. Do I? Do I know where I'm at? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. No. I think it's over here. So I want to cross through because so I usually come through that portal and then I run around the corner and uh, yeah okay this is so embarrassing but you know we're gonna you're gonna get every piece of this embarrassment 
Okay, this looks familiar now. This is, this is, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, I love this store right here. It's one of my favorites. Okay, look, look. This is what we're going to do. I'm gonna take the portal. Here's the portal. This is the portal. This is the easy swipe. No, this is it right here. What am I doing? This is, this is it. There's Purple Rain. Oh, somebody just went in there. Yeah, okay, so this is Purple Rain. You guys, this is disgusting. <laughs> this is disgusting. Anyway, so this is our little store here, and I want to say thank you to Digby for uh, fixing the wall for me because I wouldn't have had any clue what I was doing. This is exactly the look I was going for, and he did it. It's awesome. I did the ceiling in the middle, but his artistry is all over this place. So I'm still working on it. Obviously, it still needs to be stocked, but, um, you know, it's a work in progress. It's a whip. So we run through here, and this is our neighbor, our new neighbor. Uh, you just saw Eulogy, and this is his store. So we, um, Digby came and opened up the back, so um, people would have access to both stores. And Eulogy is probably coming to check out the um, the the new door. Yep, I'm just gonna quickly say hello. Okay. So we're back. I just wanted to say hello to Eulogy really quickly and um, update him on the wall. He said Digby did a great job and Digby did, Digby, diggity, did, did, did. And I'm so grateful to him. He's really gone um, oh, just out of his way to help um, the girls out. The girls being myself, Cosmic Mermaid, and I'm just going to say the girls. You guys know who we are, right? I mean, we're not famous, but I've said their names enough, <laughs> including my own, um, that you know who uh, who they are. And I just, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the front of the mall, and um, this is a cool thing. These are like little shortcuts, um, portals. Okay, all right. So just a quick uh, overview of portals. And like I said, it's quick because I know I don't know like all the nuances of how portals work, but I just wanted to give you some basics. Is that baby cookies? That's baby cookie. Um, so uh, baby cookie is running around. What? Baby cookie is running slowly. <laughs> so cute. All right. So um, portals. So the idea behind portals are quick ways to get to different planets or different places. Um, most of them planets, um, I guess, but of course you can use them to get to the front of the mall, like I just showed you, uh, to another area on the planet, to another area of the mall. Um, like DK has a setup where um, you can see that it's the mall is so freaking big that they're split up in different sections. So this uh, portal would take you back to where I'm at right here okay so we also have um places where you have access to different planets one of my favorite places to hit up all the different planets is the ps um, batula this is um portal i forgot the name of their guild portal seekers portal sequels sequels portal sequels is the guild's name and so i come here often or i use takes tunnels um, which is a gr another great way to access different planets. But this is all the different planets, I believe up to T6 maybe, I don't know. Let's see, this is T1, 2, 3, and 4, and then what, 3, okay. Mm, okay, so tier 1s, tier 3s, and maybe some tier 4s mixed in there. Might be some stuff back here. Um, there's like specific stores that you can go to. One of my favorite stores is called Planet Wonderland right here. But these are um, portals to areas that probably would not be easy to find otherwise. But you can come in here and explore some some really cool planets just by um, going through the main um, hub out of DK Mall or I'm sure if, wherever you land, I'm sure there is a portal to this area and you can just go through here's lambless and lambless will take you to um whoa that was a meteor that why is it always a meteor that falls when whatever but here's all t4 
and then some. Here's some tea uh, that's Imoco. I've actually never been here. Interesting. I've never been here. I've discovered Imoco. Ooh, look at this place. See, this is why, this is why I don't, this is, this is what happens. This place is really cool. I'll definitely have to come hang out. But that's really the basics of um, portal hopping, as I call it. Um, I would like to see what's on this planet, what colors are on this planet. It looks like green so far. Either way, this is Imoco, and this is their hub city, it looks like, and it, it looks like it's a work in progress as well, but it's looking good so far. I'm loving it. Really, really loving it. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Like I said, really basic outline of how portals work or how to use a portal and how to use them all. If there's anything else that you would like to see, let me know. I'll be happy to um, do the research. research. I can't talk today. I can't. But I would ha be happy to do the research for you, ask questions, find out. Um, or um, uh, I may know the answer already and I can certainly do a quick tutorial on it. Um, these are just beginner tutorials for people that are new to the game or thinking about uh, purchasing the game and this week it's on sale for 50% off so now is the time to buy Boundless it's on Steam yes please get it it's a great game uh, I love it it's good it's great it's a great purchase <laughs> yes uh, yeah anyways that was my Donald Trump if you couldn't figure it out anyways until next time guys I do hope you have a wonderful day uh, night, afternoon, whatever, wherever you are. It's great. Have a great day. Have a great night. Um, and I will talk to you again sometime. Anyways, I hope to see you again. I hope to see you in Boundless. Until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. Ciao.